Hello, I am Jamie Ballard of Cupcakes and Haystacks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect mock-up of your digital planner or journal inside of Canva Pro. One of the biggest mistakes that I see digital planner creators doing when they are listing their products online for sale, whether that's Etsy, Shopify, WooCommerce, wherever it is that you have your digital planners and journals for sale, I see that far too often people are using mock-ups that don't fit the product that they're selling okay so when we are creating our listing images we want to make sure that the pages of our planner or our journal fit perfectly into the iPad screen that we are using to show our customers what they'll be receiving upon purchase now when your images do not fit properly inside of your mock-up, it makes it look like you don't know what you're doing. Your customers aren't able to see what it is that they're really going to um, receive from you. It just looks sloppy, and this is a surefire way to ensure that you do not make sales on your product. So in this video, I want to show you what I have found to be the very best way to um, create a very realistic and beautiful mock-up and hopefully you can take these tips and apply them to your own listing images. All right, now before we dive into our Canva elements and frames, um, our mock-ups, all of that good stuff, I just want to talk a minute about screen size because this is going to be the most important factor um, in the success of creating a realistic mock-up. We need to make sure that the device that we're using matches the size of the products that we've created. And as you know, there are a ton of different devices out there that we can use to open up our digital planners and journals, and not all screen sizes are the same, okay? Um, there are the iPad mini, there's the iPad Air. I personally like to use an 11 inch iPad Pro, but there's also the 12 inch iPad Pro. And I believe that now with a new model coming out, we have sizes even larger than that. And then of course we have all the devices that aren't even Apple products. So it's going to be really important that you familiarize yourself with the size of the document it is that you are displaying within your mockup to make sure that everything goes well together. All right. Now, what I recommend that you do is that you open up the journal or the planner that you want to create your listing images for and make sure that you're opening it inside of the note taking app. Okay, so whether that's GoodNotes, Note Shelf is what I use, um, there's Notability, there are a handful of different options out there. Once you have opened your document inside of your note taking app, you'll want to take screenshots of all of the pages that you want to display inside of your mockups. Okay, once you do, you can transfer those images over to your Canva account. And let me show you what those images should look like. All right. So here we go, this is just one page of one of my digital planners. You can see it's landscape orientation. And what I wanna point out is that up here along the top, you see this white toolbar. It's this addition of the toolbar that's going to ensure that my image fits perfectly into my iPad mockup, okay? So that is why I take the screenshots instead of just using the individual page images, okay? I want to have this toolbar here along the top. Now, in the example that I am sharing with you, I am going to be um, using a uh, mock-up for a iPad Pro 11 inch, and the screen size of this particular device is 1668 by 2388 pixels. So hopefully that's help, helpful to you. Um, if you aren't sure what the size is of um, your document, once you've taken the screenshots, just right click on the thumbnail, come here to get info. And you can see right here under dimensions, it will give you the pixel size. So you can see that it is that 2388 by 1668. Okay, and so this is how I know that it's going to fit perfectly inside of the iPad Pro 11 inch mockup that I'm going to be using. If your size is drastically different from this, um, you pretty much want it to be exactly this size. If it is not, you might need to use a mockup different than what I'm showing you in this video, but there are quite a few options. Uh, within the Canva elements and frames and such. So hopefully you'll be able to find one that's the perfect fit for you and your document size, okay? 
All right, so now what I want to do is I'm actually going to select the frame that I want to use. Now, sometimes finding the perfect fit can be a little bit of trial and error, but I'm going to come down here within my elements. You'll see where we have our frames and I'm going to select to see all. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here to where we see devices and I'm going to click on see all here. Okay, now what I want to do is because the design that I'm going to be filling this mock-up with is landscape style, I need to make sure that I'm selecting a landscape style mock-up. And that may seem like a no-brainer, but I can't tell you how many times I have seen a seller with a portrait style mock-up and then they've taken a landscape style <laughs> image and they're somehow trying to display it in here, okay? Like maybe they'll have it over here and possibly this could pass, but what's going to happen is your customer is going to think that you are selling them a portrait style digital planner, okay? This is not an accurate representation of what it is that you're going to provide your customers with and it's your responsibility to make sure that you do. So this is bad news bears. Don't do this, okay? All right, so I'm gonna clear this out. Let's come back up here to our elements. Here we go. And we're gonna look for landscape, okay? Let's delete this out. And you can see that there's really only one decent landscape mock-up within the frames that looks like an iPad, okay? In the landscape style. So now what we wanna do is we wanna come on over to our uploads and let's try dropping this in again first how about we try dropping in an image that isn't a screenshot that includes the note taking bar okay so you can see here it's very clear that this particular image doesn't fit okay this doesn't have the toolbar along the top that's going to give us that little extra um, push here and when I double click on this you can see that I've cut off all of the tabs I've cut off the edge of um, the left hand side here as well and this is in my opinion is almost as bad as taking a landscape image and putting it into a portrait style mock-up okay this is not an accurate representation of what you're going to be selling to your customers okay and this is why the size of your screen matters so much so let's try it now with the toolbar you can see that it's much better than the other one was, but when I double click on this, you can see that it's still not the appropriate size. Do you see how much is cut off of the edge there? We wanna make sure that our entire digital planner um, page is shown within this mockup, okay? So let's delete this out, and we're going to go a slightly different route. So I'm going to come here to elements again, I'm going to back up from my frames, and this time I'm just going to do a search for iPads. And we'll come down here to Photos. All right, let's delete this one out, and let's give this one a shot, all right? So this one, you can see it's got a nice drop shadow attached to it, and the center of this is empty, okay? Which means that I can put an image underneath this, and it's going to work just like a frame would. So I, again, am going to come here to my uploads, and I'm going to select the image that I want. I'm going to adjust the size. Go and center it and send it to the back. But now you can see we have the same problem. This is not the appropriate fit, okay? We have this gap here at the top and we have a gap here at the bottom, okay? So this one is a no-go as well. So I'm gonna delete this out, go, and we'll come back over here to elements and Let's come down here to where we have our magic recommendations, all right? And I'm going to select this particular one. And this one I can already tell is going to be a bit more, um, it's going to be a little bit shorter than what the other one was, wider and shorter, okay? And just to be sure, I'm going to 
come to my uploads again. I'm going to click on my image again. And I'm going to send it to the back. Alright, and now you can see that that is basically a perfect fit, okay? So the only issue is, though, I want to point out with this, is that this one, unlike the last mock-up that we looked, looked at, there is a drop shadow on the inside that's being cast on top of our design. And that's not really a good look, okay? So there is a way around this, and I'm going to show you exactly how to fix it. I am going to delete out this image. I'm going to leave the iPad and I'm going to come back over to elements. Okay. I'm going to go back and I'm going to do a search. Let's just type in iPad again. And I'm going to come down here to these two frames that we can see here. And these, when I click on them, you can see that it is the screen of the iPad without the iPad itself, okay? And these are adjustable, so I can make it skinnier, I can make it wider, okay? But I'm going to take this and I'm going to stretch it out so it fits right on top of this iPad. I want to make sure that it's as even all the way around as I can make it. So we have that even border. Okay. Make it just a tad bit taller. And you may think that all of the attention that I'm showing to make it exact may seem a little bit too much, but here's the thing. This is the face of your design. It's your listing images that are going to convince your customers to either buy or not buy from you. And once you create these mockups one time, you can use them over and over again. So give yourself the time to make it as perfect as possible, okay? All right, so that looks good. Now I'm going to come on over here to my uploads again. I'm gonna drop that right in. And there we have a perfect mock-up. So once again, I want to show you what it looks like when we don't have that toolbar, okay? You can see that it still doesn't fit quite right, even though it's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider, okay? And when I double-click here, you can see all of this that's missing, all right? So I'm going to drop this one in again, and there we go. All right, and that's how we're going to do a landscape one. Um, how about we do a portrait style one as well? Now that we have a pretty good idea of what's going on, um, our portrait one won't take us quite as long. I'm gonna start by deleting out this landscape mockup, and then I'm gonna head on over here to my elements where I'm going to find my portrait style iPad. All right, so if I wanted to, I could come down here to my frames and I could start my search just like I did before. I would select see all and come down here to devices and I would choose this portrait style, okay? But we already know that the landscape style didn't fit. All right, so let me click on this landscape one. I'm gonna turn it on its side and I'll make it a bit smaller. And now you can see that it is the exact same size as the portrait style one, okay? And because the design that I am going to be dropping in to this um, portrait style mock-up, it is still made for an iPad Pro 11 inch, okay? Which tells me that if it didn't fit this one, it's not gonna fit the other, okay? So I'm gonna close this out here and I'm going to back out of my devices, out of my frames, and I'm going to come up here to the top and just do a search for iPad. Okay. I'll come down here to my photos and select see all. And this very first option, you can see it's right next to the landscape one that we tried first. Okay. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I want to point out that just like with the frames, if I click on the matching landscape style one 
and I turn this on its side. Make it a bit smaller. You can see that once again, they are the exact same size. So I know that this one is not going to fit either. So I'll delete both of these out. And now I'm going to come down here once again to my magic recommendations. Okay. Um, if you aren't sure that you're in the exact spot you need to be, take a look at the creator here. This one you can see that it's by Zamora Design. Okay. This is where you're going to find the appropriate iPad. All right. And this first one is the one that we just looked at. Um, you can see that it's wider than this one here at the center, and we do want that narrower design, okay? So I've clicked on that, and now you can see that just like with the other one, there is a slight drop shadow on the inside, which is another really good way to make sure that you've selected the correct frame. And I'm going to come down here to my uploads. Now one thing I want to point out is sometimes you can get a bit more detailed information about um, an image like this. And you would get that additional information by selecting that object here on, the, um, on your canvas and then clicking on info. And what I would really like is if the creators would put the name, not only the name, but also the size of the device that they're using. So you can see here that it's a mock-up that is an iPad Pro, but it doesn't say what size it is. So this one um, is an 11 inch. I believe that the other one was a 12 inch, but they don't get that specific with their with their um, descriptions. Sometimes they will though. So it never hurts to take a look at this information too. All right, so now what I wanna do is, actually I need to be back in my elements because I forgot I need to get my frame. So I'm going to type in iPad again. We'll come down here to frames and I'm going to select the portrait one. Now I'm not sure if I mentioned this before but what makes this frame different from just a basic rectangle or square like maybe if you were grabbing from frames or you were grabbing from grids it's that it has this rounded corner okay and this rounded corner is made to fit the iPad exactly okay and this gives it a much more finished look and um, it makes it look more realistic. There we go. And that looks like a good fit. So now the final test is making sure that my image fits. So I'll click on uploads. And here I have a digital calendar page. And this is actually a template that I sell. So if you like this, I'll make sure to link it below for you. Um, but you can see that it's the perfect fit. And when I click on it, I don't have any overhang on the top, the bottom, or the side. So that confirms that this is the appropriate size, okay? And this is how we create the perfect mock-up for our listing images, for our digital planners and our digital journals. Now, if you really enjoyed this tutorial, if you found it to be helpful and you'd like to see more things like this in the future in relation to digital planners and digital journals, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a beautiful day and I cannot wait to see what you create.